Of course, for India, thorium is important because we don't have too much of uranium. Conversely, India has massive thorium deposits and almost no uranium. India has been pursuing a solid fuel-based thorium breeder since 1950, with steadfast determination of securing energy independence. Most of that time, they've been looking at you know thorium oxide fuels, solid fuels, and they're running the same challenges with solid fuel thorium that everybody does. And I have been told informally uh, through friends of this person that, that one of the former directors of the Indian nuclear program, when asked, if you had it all to do again, what would you differently? He said, I would have gone to molten salt right from the beginning. Dr. Sina and his colleagues think that molten salt breeder reactor, am I quoting you correctly, Sennaji? <laughs> I heard you telling me some time back that they think that the molten salt breeder reactor seems to be the most suitable candidate for the self-sustainable thorium reactor. What I think is amazing about molten salt technology is the fact that the thorium fuel cycle integrates so cleanly with the technology. The advantage for the molten salt is that, that processing is much simpler and it reduces the fuel cycle costs and makes a breeder uh, a conceivable economic proposition. Liquid fuel enables economic thorium breeding thanks to liquid chemistry and thanks to liquid homogeneity of the fuel. You can use thorium in existing reactors, but the economics aren't there to support it. 